killed me. Uh, she? Bro, what? <laughs> What the? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Just put it to goodbye, bro, please. All right. It didn't work when I did it. Can you please just say goodbye? Yeah, true. Goodbye. Goodbye. That should do it, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. What we saw this night will scar us for the rest of our entire lives. Whoa! What the f Ben? What the f was that? The, that was glass. What the f was that? Ben, Ben. Yeah, yeah. What the f is that? Uh, I feel something standing like right behind me. It'd be horrifying. <laughs> Get in. Uh, main is good. Main is good. Tonight we are staying overnight inside of one of the most haunted hotels in New York. Hotel Utica. This is very special because we are the first paranormal investigators to explore and investigate the entirety of this hotel. The basement, the closed off floors that no one's been to except hotel staff, and uh, the most haunted rooms are in our names, and then the rest of the hotel is basically ours free game all night long. It's gonna be wild. I'm very excited. This is Hotel Utica, and once again, it's very special because it's close to home for us. We actually live nearby and uh this location I actually drive by almost every single day and everyone around here knows about the history here but no one knows exactly what's going on up there in the 13th floor but hotel staff and uh, people who own the hotel which is now double tree they purchased it and did some renovations but they don't like to call it the 13th floor they call it the 14th floor so if you go in the elevator for example it goes from 12 to 14 they completely skip over it. bad luck number we get it but to talk about some of the things that go on in here poltergeist activity for starters things flying off the counter salt and pepper shakers in the kitchen hotel room keys just flying at the wall it hits absolutely insane the hotel staff was just telling us about it when we were getting the room keys and they're like yeah sometimes it'll be in a stack and they'll just go flying absolutely nuts um Shadowy figures, someone actually hung themselves right over the mezzanine railings, right in the lobby right there, for starter. Um, and people claim to see his shadowy figure. And to top it all off, the haunted rooms that I mentioned that we have are claimed to have an evil entity within. People who don't know about the hauntings and they check into these rooms usually leave within 30 minutes and there has been documented stays from people who check in and leave right after don't even care about a refund that's absolutely insane so we're going in here knowing all of this so hopefully we could get in contact with that but the closed off rooms at the 13th floor it's been closed off for a very long time spirits have been in there for 30 40 50 years they've had nobody to communicate with this is their first ever time communicating with someone in so many years, I wonder what they have to say to us. I'm super excited, also kind of scared because we are told about this violent entity, evil entity, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbering. I wanna get straight into this. So smash the like button if you guys are excited. If you wanna see more videos like this, we live in a very historic area. New York as a whole is very historic. You'll see a lot of old buildings and stuff like this. So you wanna see more things like this? Smash that like button. Also subscribe to the channel if we, you have not already. We're on the road to 500K and we could only get there. With your support, please do it. We really appreciate it. <laughs> but um, yeah, also if you wanna win some signed hoodies from both Ben and I, simply just comment your size down in the comment section below with the hashtag spooky, cause it's spooky season. But with that being said, Ben, you ready? To grab our stuff and uh, if you look in the bag right here, we got the Ouija board. Now you're wondering why uh, the hotel managers actually asked us to use it. Whenever else do you get asked to use an Ouija board at a location? <laughs> all right, <laughs> right? Um, all right, let's get inside and show you guys what it's all about. Everything that was said to us was true. Everything that we were warned about was true because right after we checked into our rooms, and I mean right after, this violent and dark entity that everyone's been reporting was showing itself to us. and. As the night goes on, it just gets crazier and crazier. And by the end of the night, man, we were running out of this place screaming. And 
it's nuts because we both suffered because of this. And as of right now, Ben is extremely sick after he's left this location. He's just not feeling like himself at all. And, you know, we're not even filming for God knows how long until he gets back. But it was all because of this night. What we went through this night changed us forever. Alrighty, so 410, oh, look at that. 410 to the left, 409 and 408 to the right. Oh, wow. Wait, would that mean 409, 408's gotta be the corner, so I must be right there. Oh, so we got three rooms right next to each other, and these are the most haunted rooms. So, um, are they all next to each other? You heard that? Literally came from right behind me. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna go check into my room quick. And then, um, let's meet back up. Honestly, what we should do, let's test the waters real quick. Spend like five minutes each, kind of just like asking questions yeah. and seeing if anything comes through. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like without equipment and kind of just do it raw. Yeah. Good luck. Hey, you too. You'll need it. <laughs> oh, man. I'll use my phone. Oh, okay. Sounds good. All right, bro. All right. Here we are. Oh wow, it's freezing in here. What's the temperature in this room? 70? 70? Hell no, it's not 70. All right, got a mirror right here. Well, uh, let's start this off on the right note. If there's anybody here in this room with me, can you give me some sort of sign? Let me know that you're here. Um, maybe a knock, maybe a... Hello? Let's take a look at this view. Oh, wow. Nice. Beautiful. Um, well, they say that this is the most haunted room. 410, 409, 409 and 408 as well are very haunted. I wonder why all of them so close. As a matter of fact, I have this list right here with all the facts about this place. So let's take a little read. We are heading to room 408. Let's take a look. Here we are, 408. So yeah, this is supposed to be one of the uh, one of the three haunted rooms here. Let me turn on the light. There you go, now you can see it. So actually, I'm thinking about getting Spirit Talker out. Maybe running that for a little bit, see what happens. Yo, what's going on? Hello? Hello? Uh, it's Jazz, but he's not, he's just talking to the phone. He's like talking to the camera. So, room 410. Hotel was renovating room 410, and everything was taken apart in the room, including the phone off the jack. The room would keep calling the front desk, even though it was not plugged in. In multiple rooms, guests have experienced heavy pressure on their chest while sleeping, and it woke them up. That's pretty crazy. Um, late at night, hotel items have been moved in guest rooms or into the hallways, and a little old housekeeper in full uniform was even seen in the hallway one late night pushing a housekeeping cart. We do not have housekeeping staff on at one o'clock in the morning. So that's pretty damn crazy. Um, just in general, what's going on here. So that's pretty damn nuts. Um, but there's a lot of history here in regards to everything. Yeah, he's called me. What's up? 
No, I'm recording. I'm talking about the room with open. You just called me on the hotel line. No, I didn't. I'm literally sitting on the bed talking to the camera, bro. I have it recorded here that you just called me. Brother, I'm telling you right now, I've been sitting on the bed talking about my room. Wait, oh, bro, bro, please come here. Please come here. What? Please come to my room if you can. Fuck okay, okay, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Okay. All right, bye. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, he didn't know he called me, I guess. All right, well, we just got here. Oh, let me not forget my key. Lights on. <laughs> Definitely sounded excited about something. Holy shit. It scared me. This is crazy. What? I was just sitting on the bed. You could literally see my ass cheek mark on the bed right there. I can't. But I was sitting. It's crazy that you say that. So from reading this, look, room 410, the room we're in right now, hotel was renovating room 410 and everything was taken apart in the room, including the phone off the jack. The room would keep calling the front desk even though it was not plugged in. In multiple rooms, guests have experienced heavy pressure on their chest while sleeping and it's woken them up. But that phone call thing... Just happened. I'm, bro, I'm telling you, I was sitting right there recording myself talking about this. I could hear you in the room, but like faintly, like as if it, well, you, you were heard across me? the room. That's so fucking weird. That's why I was like, that's how I knew it was you because I didn't get, there's no caller ID on that, bro. It's like... Yeah, it's face down. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, we're off to a very interesting start, but I'm reading some of the other things on here, which is pretty crazy. Now, number one, guests have seen shadowy figures. Um, <laughs> someone hung themselves off the mezzanine railings, which is the floor right above the main floor. With yeah. All the chandeliers and stuff. In the main kitchen, salt and pepper shakers along with pans would slide off the counters and fall to the floor. They have even been thrown across the kitchen when only two people were in there shadowy figures have been seen in the server area of the kitchen and cold chills have been experienced brother as soon as i walked in here i felt a cold chill it was on 70 degrees 71 degrees oh, that's, that's not, not cold that's for not a cold. room for a hotel room that's that's pretty temperate warm yeah. um but dude it's crazy because when we were checking in like officially getting the room keys for here uh one of the things that the hotel staff the receptionist told us was that the hotel key cards, they have them like on a stack. Sometimes they'll just go flying. Like the, the stack will just fall over. Some will fall on the floor, go across the room. And like this isn't just... And so here's the thing. This place is very close to us, close to home. And we've always been interested in this place. Bro, I drive by this place and I, I, I see the 13th, 14th floor. Mm -hmm. And I think to myself, what is going on up there? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And We're going to find out. I can't wait to find out tonight. But dude, I'm just thinking right now. There's more to this than I, I, I could have even imagined. You know, I, I didn't even know about all these shadowy figures and stuff. Like, this is a common occurrence here. Mm -hmm. And they're poltergeist activity. Chandeliers are swinging back and forth in the main lobby. Like, this is actually crazy. And um, look at this. Later, a small group of guests arrived one evening with two rooms. 408, 409. The room, oh, they're connecting rooms. You have a connecting room. Cool. Oh, cool. Um, they had a four-night stay, all prepaid, non-refundable. They checked right back out after being in the room for 30 minutes. They stated it was evil, and they want they wanted no part of it and left. They were they were so con they weren't even concerned that they would be refunded. They just straight up left. that's how scared they were. Oh wow! And I mean, look at the history in the back. I mean, it goes back from 1912. So, shit. dude, we have over a hundred years of history here. Uh, one more thing I do want to mention. Uh, um, they want us to use the Ouija board. They want us to. I can't believe I'm saying that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, usually you guys are very adamant on us not using them. But, you know, we were with some other paranormal investigators before we checked in. And uh, they were telling us, they were like, yeah, you, you know, Ouija boards are great forms of 
communication with the mm. other world. And, you know, we're not going to pass down an opportunity to use it when we're being asked. That's fair. Fair, right? Yeah. I feel like we're going to regret this later. Probably. But, uh, we're planning on actually sleeping in different rooms. So Ben's planning on sleeping all the way down there, sleeping in here, if all things go well. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, but we will be investigating the 12th, 13th, but it's really the 14th floor. They don't want to call the 13th floor because of the bad luck number. You know, 13 is a really cultural, and culturally that, yeah. bad number. So yeah. they just decided to call the 14th floor. You'll actually see that in the elevator as well. But, um, yeah, I am uh, not ready for this. I don't think. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, we're going to unpack, get the rest of our equipment going. I think we're going to actually start by going all the way up to the 12th, 13th, 14th floor. Ready, Ben? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do this, guys. Oh, smash the like button. And also, subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 500K, and we can only get there with your support. You can do it already. You heard the guy? The entity or entities that have been reported in these rooms are already showing themselves to us, which is crazy. And right now we're considering going up to the closed off floors where God knows what is waiting for us up there. And let me just tell you, it's about to get crazy because Ben and I decide to split up on these closed off floors and we both experience some pretty crazy shit. Whew. Uh, to get to these close off floors you have to put a code in on the elevator keys and uh i'm obviously not gonna put that in the video because i'm pretty sure if i do a bunch of people just show up and boop 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 up they go so um yeah i'm gonna start recording from when we get up there take a look oh my goodness So these are the abandoned floors. Uh, this is technically the 13th floor, but even, like this place is super haunted and they didn't want to correlate the top floor, the 13th floor with the number 13. So they actually called this the 14th floor, as you saw. It goes straight from 12 to 14, which- It's very strange. Very strange, but I don't blame them, you yeah. know? And this is a location with so much paranormal activity going on, but. So anybody here with us? Oh, wow. Okay, so I guess I'll take this floor. We're planning on splitting up. It's getting kind of late already. And, um... We've been doing so much. Wait, look at this. I was gonna say, 13th is crossed out. Does it say it on the other side too? That's the roof access. Oh yeah, look, look. Oh uh, yeah. 13th, 14th. Okay, well, all right. Um, I'll take the 13th floor, the most haunted floor, um, the abandoned, obviously. And um, here's this camera. Good luck, Ben. All right. Um, if you need anything, call. We'll call each other. On the 12th floor? Yeah, so 12th floor. Okay. Um, dear God, all right. Good luck, brother. Hey, you too. Can't believe we're doing this shit, but. All right, see you, bro. See ya. Okay. All right, spirits. Just you and I now. Is there anybody here? Can you give me some sort of sign to let me know that you're here? Before we continue and I show you the footage that both Ben and I recorded as we were split up on these closed off floors, I need to show you something very important because what we caught earlier, I, I can't even put into words this scared us to our core because just to put it into perspective these closed off floors there's four of them right and they're all separated by concrete 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 and there is no other way for anyone to get up to these floors except by the elevator via special key so earlier we did a tour with a creator and a couple of news stations because we were the first people to really investigate this place thoroughly. And we were with BJ from the Unrefined Podcast and we caught something on an EVP. Honestly, I'm just gonna play it right here. Just take a listen to this because I have no idea what we caught. I just take a seat, I'm not feeling too early. 
What, what the was that? What was that? What was that? You got that on camera. That was really good. Yeah. Caught that. That's amazing. A couple things to note. It was just us three at this time, Ben, BJ, and I, and we all heard it out loud. So whatever it was, was on the floor with us, which is the scariest and creepiest thing. And we didn't know exactly the extent of what we heard until we got home and played this EVP over. Um, two, once again, these floors are separated by concrete and the only way to get up to where we were was via the elevator, which we can confirm at that time, all the news stations were gone and it was just BJ, Ben and I on that floor. Whatever it was, was trying to show itself to us. And what Ben and I are about to experience just goes to show that whatever entity is there is very willing to show itself, let everyone know that it is there, it is powerful, it is dark, and it's scary. It's definitely a weird vibe up here. I mean, look how dusty that is. That should just tell you how long it's been since someone's been up here. And maybe that's a good thing in regards to paranormal activity because the spirits that are here haven't spoke to anybody in 30, 40 plus years. And we're gonna be the first people that they can finally communicate with. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing because maybe they'll be afraid, maybe they'll be angry. We're not exactly sure, but that's what we're here to find out. So is there anybody up here on the 13th, 14th floor? Can you give me some sort of sign to let me know that you're here? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like another room. That's interesting. How the... You can see that someone was trying to like kick this down. Okay. Whoa. I have regrets. Okay. Um... Thank you for coming forward and speaking with me. I really appreciate that. Can you share a little bit more about what you are regretful about? That looks a little burnt right there. Maybe there's like a fireplace in that area or something. So I have regrets. Look at that. Children are playing. Can you give me some sort of sound, maybe a tap? Oh my God. Thank you. Children are playing. They keep secrets. Whoa, 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 whoa. They keep secrets. Children are playing, they keep secrets. Something definitely like moved over here. Okay, those chairs are really freaky. The way they're set up like that. If you're comfortable with sharing your secrets with me, I would love to, I would keep it a secret as well. All right guys, so we are starting our uh, alone challenge here at Hotel Utica, now known as the Double Tree Inn. We are at the abandoned, did you guys hear that? That was the door, like right in front of us. There's no way. Hello? Here we are, 12th floor. All right, so I have spirit talker running right now. Are there any spirits here that wanna communicate with me? Make sure my sound's up. Huh, it wasn't, but I got the name Elmer. I like the glue. All right, Elmer. I see that you wanted me to move locations. I actually have since you said that to me. You wanna tell me who you are? Maybe if you, did you live on this floor or?
Okay. So these are the elevators we came up on. What the hell was that? Okay. Anyway, these are the elevators we came up on. The view from here is insane. Wow, it's crazy. <laughs> Fuck was that? What was that? It's a flashing light. Hello? It's weird, I still haven't gotten anything on. Okay, I have the sound up, but the sound didn't work. I got brown eyes. is really weird. Actually, we've had some weird encounters today. Um, just our, our equipment acting weird. Uh, earlier, this, I've never seen it before, but Jazz had his phone locked and Spirit Talker still came through. And at the same time as that happened, another investigator that we were with, their uh, EMF detector went off. Okay, that's weird. Uh, brown eyes, I have brown eyes. Leo, I'm a Leo. Uh, I'm not uh, much into the... What the hell? I was gonna say, I don't really believe in the whole like horoscope thing, but I am a Leo and I do have brown eyes. Wow, look at this wallpaper. Hello? What is that? Oh, okay. Uh. I definitely heard a voice coming from over here. Uh, the voice that I heard, can you tell me your name? It's honestly a very eerie feeling, but I do want to just take a look at this view really quick. Bed. Yeah, what did I say? Bed. Look at this view out here. This is gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Is there anybody down there? Left. left. Down there to the left? Okay, I'm coming. I mean well. I'm just here to share your story, communicate with you, and hopefully get to know you a little bit better. Sad. Sad. I'm so sorry to hear that. What? Was that this? Painful. Well, okay, okay. Sad and then painful. So, sad, painful. Mm, I'm getting a really tragic story here. Tragic vibe to what's going on. 
Anybody down here? Can you give me some sort of sign to let me know that you're here? I will say, views are absolutely beautiful. Vibes, absolutely. Okay, hold on. My chest is, my heart is pounding out of my chest right now. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, something is telling me that it's sad, it's going through something painful, but something is definitely angry up here. Okay, let's go check out what that was. I'm your typical white guy, stereotypical thing in a movie. Hear something? Let's go check it out. That definitely sounded like something maybe fell over. Beard. Okay. Is this a, a man spirit? I'm trying to think what that could be. What that could have been. Wait a sec. Okay, hold on one sec. Maybe it was the chair? I know you. I know you. Where do you know me from? Or maybe you're talking about from earlier, from down in the basement. We did go on a little tour of the basement beforehand with a bigger group. So, was it you that I spoke with? I was definitely getting some crazy, exper crazy experiences down there. Polite. Okay, so definitely getting two sides of the <laughs> something polite, something very angry and knocking things over. Is this more stairs to? Yeah, see, 13th is crossed out, 14th. Ooh, what the hell is that? Okay, that's, that's actually what it sounded like. It sounded like something was like pounding on this. Like right, okay. I am hearing sounds all over the place right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Painful. Painful again, okay. This is uh, freaking me out. I really wonder what Ben's going through right now. Cause, um, I'm wondering now because it literally sounded like something was pounding on this. But if you look at this one, this one is broken through as well. Maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know, but. <sighs> Angry, something is definitely trying to express itself right now. I'm gonna pick that chair up. Definitely, definitely think that's what I heard earlier when it fell over. Painful. Still haven't gotten a name. Can you share with me your name? I'm just look how dusty this is. As a met. That's. Thinking back, thinking back right now, I'm trying to piece together. Was that there when I first walked in? Oh, hell no. I got chills all over my body right now. And I definitely feel like I'm not alone up here. I feel as if there's something near me, someone near me. 
Hello? I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like clear as day. Okay, I'm getting sounds from over. Watch out, okay. I'm getting a warning now, that's great. Uh, let's check that out over here. You. Who will touch me? That's a weird response to get right after watch out. Nothing in here. Can you tell me who made that sound? Did you guys hear that? That sound like came from back here again. Oh, guys, I really don't like this. Who made that sound? I'm agitated. Uh, I can tell. Um, is there anything I can do to help with that? You guys hear that? Oh, I'm losing my shit here, guys. I don't like this place. This one's not right. The children play games. Uh, are they playing the sound game with me right now? I can't hear jazz at all upstairs either. Like the floor is like concrete, so I hope he's doing okay up there. If he's calling for me, I would not know. Oh, look at this. Can you tell me why you're agitated? Maybe there's a reason. Maybe you're upset because you're still here. Maybe you want to be here. I don't know. Birdhouse. It's for tiny birds. Okay, we still haven't explored the other half. So I think we're gonna head that way now. Awfully quiet spirits, anyone want to talk to me? Maybe not. Okay. Whoa, what did that just say? Carol, okay. Okay. Let me down with Ben right now. That door, that door just shut. Okay, I literally saw it in the corner of my eyes. Hold on. Ben? Yeah, bro. Where are you? Did you, was that you who closed the door? No, I just heard that. It was really weird. Footsteps. Where's that coming from? I can't tell if it's behind me or from the hallway over here, but I don't like it either way. Is it? I'm telling you right now, though, I do not want to go back upstairs. Uh, Things were... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't hear that? What happened? Can Hello? We, can we... Dude, can we just get in the elevator? Yeah, absolutely. Go and get just, out of here. Just go. Okay. And we Dude, can, we can do the basement. We can do something else for now. We can come back here later, later maybe. Like I said, I was coming. This is really working. 
Yeah, you're telling me. Dude, I'm telling you, I was coming down the stairs in the corner of my eye, seeing the door just like shift over like an extra inch to close. You weren't near the door? I wasn't, I wasn't anywhere near it. Okay, um, here's it. It's an old, dude, it's an old button. Just push it harder. Or it's, hey, I told you, old button, Simple push key. it harder. <laughs> And now I open. Where is it? This isn't funny, because the stairs are uh, chained off. Right, so we're, we're not stuck up here. My green light, door opens. That's upstairs. It's a ghost door. That's, that's upstairs. You sure? I, I hear it open upstairs. What if it's downstairs? Hold on, let's test it one more. It can't be. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it literally can't be. It can't be. Okay, we heard that, and that then I said Theodore. It. Um, please, for the love of God, open. What's that? Fuck. <sighs> Theodore, where the hell are you? <laughs> Come out here, I would like to play with, I uh, speak to you. Sorry, upstairs I got children are playing, that's why I'm thinking. Oh, okay. I mean, it could be as well, like Theodore. Dude, it's crazy up there. The sounds were nuts, and at one point I heard something like fall over. Dude, on the table, there were handprints. Dusty handprints. Bigger than really? my hand. So really? you're, you're telling me a child? I mean, I'm, I'm five foot nine. I'm not the tallest in the world. Right. But like, I'm, I'm estimating, a, if you're a child and you're over five foot nine, bigger hands than me, then... oh, we gotta go upstairs. Okay. Um, it's footsteps. I'm hearing footsteps clear as day, but there's nothing down here. There's lots of chandeliers. It sounds like heels, like heels walking on concrete, or maybe business shoes. Mm. Remember, a shadowy figure that they see here a lot is Charlie, a man who hung himself. He was in a tux when he hung himself. A lot of people see his apparition, so it could be Charlie. It could be. I gotta go upstairs. I'm, I'm just, sorry, I'm delaying the inevitable. Hold on, I want us to test something too. I'm glad you're here. Thanks, <laughs> I'm glad as well. About what it sounded like. <sighs> oh, I'm dreading every. Oh, I, at least I can show you the handprints now. I'd like to come back up here and do an Estes method. I'll be fired. I can't believe I just said that. What is wrong? Yeah, come take a look at this, bro. Oh yeah, I can see, wow. Okay, I didn't even notice this. But yeah, look, this was my hand. And look at the hand comparison to mine. They're huge. Compared to mine, yeah. Like, that's actually insane. That is. Why are they so big? Here's good you heard that? Okay, never mind. never mind. let's just go. It was from that wall. It doesn't make any sense. Let's just go. I feel like nothing here does. Please, please, please. Let's oh. go. Thank God. Okay. Are they just closer? It's not human. Uh. It's not human. Okay, well, let's go downstairs. Okay, absolutely. We both felt as if we had some unfinished business on these closed off floors. So we decided to head back up there and both perform an Estes method to see if we could get some more answers, more responses from whatever's up here and did we ever because once again whatever's up there is trying to get through to us trying to share something and it seems like it likes to do that in a very aggressive way all right guys so we're about to do an estes method up here on the 
13th, aka 14th floor, one of the abandoned floors here of the hotel. And uh, basically, Ben's going to be asking me questions. I have these noise cancellation headphones on. I can't hear my own thoughts at the moment. Um, I don't even know if Ben's speaking right now. I might be talking over him. I hope I'm not Ben. I'm sorry if I am. You're good. Um, but yeah, basically, Ben, if <laughs> obviously you can hear me. I think I'm screaming. Um, <laughs> ask questions. Go completely random. You take the reins. And uh, yeah, we don't have a blindfold at the moment. I'm sorry. I don't want to put anything up here over my eyes. So I'm just going to stare at the wall. That way I can't read Ben's lips and what questions he's asking. And uh, hopefully we can get some intelligent responses about what's going on, not only on these floors, but maybe elsewhere in the hotel. So Yeah, cool. All right, I'm going to start it up. So let's get this started here. Oh, my God, that's so loud. I'm Ben, and this is my friend Jazz. We're going to be uh, asking some questions today, hopefully. Uh, Welcome. Hey, thank you. Um, can you tell me what your name is? I've been so lonely. I'm sorry to hear that. How long have you been here? I don't know. 70. 70 years? I don't know. Can you tell me where you stayed in the hotel? I'm scared. Why are you scared? He's listening. Who's listening? I just heard a voice. He's here. Who's here? It sounds like something's crying in my ears. Can so, you tell me who that is? Who's uh, crying? Are you recording? Yeah, we're recording. God, I keep on hearing shit from over there. Can you tell me about the rooms that we're going to be staying in? I'm going to be staying in room 410. Do you know anything about the room? I wouldn't. Evil. Really? Dark. Can you tell me why it's dark? Energy. Dark. I, I don't know how to describe it, guys, but it sounds like someone's... He's here. Uh, okay. Like someone's sweeping Listen. over the... Like something's brushing against the ground. Something just laughed in my left ear. Can you tell me who just laughed? I didn't like that. Uh, not... Oh, I don't like that. Not human. Not human. Can you tell me what you are? You don't want to know. Okay. How about the room that Jazz is going to be singing tonight? Uh, what was it, 408? Infested. Infested with what? Darkness. Okay. We're waiting. Well, we're not going to go to bed for a while. Um, how about the basement? Can you tell me anything about the, about the basement? What we can expect? Basement. Uh, it's basement. Okay. Valve. Valve. Turn. Okay. Kill uh, him. Uh... Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Shadow man. Who's the shadow man? Noose. S 
suicide. Oh, I don't like this, man. It's getting dark. You wanna? You keep on saying you don't like this. It's getting dark. Do you want me to stop? No. All right. Who, uh... Ben, can you stop this? I just It's asked... getting dark as hell, man. I just asked you if you, could, if you want me to stop it. It's off. It's off. You okay? Dude, uh, it was weird in there. Like, I, at first it started off so sad. It, it, I genuinely felt like bad for who I was speaking to because they were relaying it like, I'm so lonely, like I'm so sad. And then at one point the voices continued, but I was hearing like, <laughs> Like, almost like something was like crying, sobbing, like uh. way, way deep. And it was such a weird feeling. But then it got darker and darker and it kept talking about this thing that's not human. And it was weird. I wanted to stop a while ago and I was going to say, just end it. Mm. Whew. Yeah, no, you, you kept on asking me to stop. And then I, I went to go stop it. And then you're like, nah, keep on going. And then you're like, stop. <laughs> well, I didn't hear a thing you said. Shots. No. no, on God, I couldn't hear a thing. Dude, if you oh. have these on, even with them on, I can't hear anything. You're right. Yeah, you must have not heard me. Oop. <laughs> I asked you. Sorry. Wait, what'd you ask? I asked if you wanted to get out. And I said what? You said no. Oh, no, I definitely wanted to. I'm okay. so, that must have been the worst timing ever. Yeah, it was. It was really bad timing. You're or saying maybe no. that, they were like trying to tell, like, make it seem like it was me. So then it would continue. Uh. No, dude, these responses are crazy. As a matter of fact, let's switch. Let's okay. Because here's sure. the thing. I, want, I would love to see what you experience as well. Yeah. Leave me. Uh, whoa, leave me? Pull. Pull what? The lever. What lever? Is basement. There in the basement. Okay. It's a basement for me as well. Basement. Definitely wants us to go down there. Who's in the basement? Run. Run. Is there something dangerous in the basement? Something dark? He's there. Who is this he? Shadow. Shadow. Is it Charlie, the man who hung himself? It's so weird. I just got... Hung thief. No, 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 no. Mary? Okay, who's Mary? Heaven. The people? I'm gonna be quiet for a second and just see what comes through for him. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try this for like 30 seconds, just be quiet and let him. Noose. Said that for me as well. <sighs> Guys, okay, I want you to put this into perspective. I'm holding the camera with my left hand. That was to the left of me. My right arm is right here. What the f who just did that? Who moved that chair? He's here. Okay. Uh, left. To left? To, that would be to the left of Ben? Breathe. What does he want? Maybe it's to the left of Ben? Are you sitting to the left of Ben? Die. Oh, God. Girl. A girl dead, you said? Oh, I don't like that. Does she have a name? Wow, I just got, what? 
it just went crazy. It just said like 12 things at the same time. Like I felt like there was words in there, but I couldn't make out what was being said. Uh, I got he's down. In the rooms or in the basement? No. Basement. Fuck me. Amber. Who's, oh, maybe that's the name that I was asking earlier. <sighs> Whose handprints are that on the table? Charlie. Oh, oh my God. The chills I have right now. I'm sorry for over, like, <laughs> reacting the way I am, okay? I'm sorry. This is crazy. Go. What? Charlie, are you a good or bad spirit? Gentleman. Did you say gentleman? What did you? I don't even know what he said. Move quietly. What the fuck? Ben, 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 Ben. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you take that off for a sec? Um, okay, can you hold this for a sec? Yeah, what's going on? I want to test something quick. On God, I just saw something like a shadow move against the floor. So, really quick. Oh my God. What? Dude, I... S Behind me, I saw like a shadow move alongside the floor. Would that mean? That something was just here. Something was just here. And on numerous occasions, you were saying Charlie. Yeah. And you said, he's here. Brother, when you said Charlie the most recent time, I said, whose handprints were those? You, you right away said Charlie. I feel like I was just about to say something too, like right when you cut me off. I'm sorry. It's okay, it happens. Uh, I feel like there was something really important, but I'll remember it soon. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm out of it right now. This place is kind of doing something to me, actually. I have not felt this way in a minute. This is kind of crazy. No, this, this is different. This is yeah. very different. I don't know what it is. I'm, we're getting somewhere. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. The reason I say that is because these responses right now, like for both of us, I was correlating a lot of them. Mm. Dude, at one point, this, this is how it looks, by the way. I'm standing right here recording you, like this. Yeah. Camera's in my left hand. My other right hand was holding like the other side of the camera yeah. like this. And out of nowhere, this chair just went. OK, how, that's so weird. How am I, I going to? I could feel, I felt when that happened, bro. My feet are on the, scared the fuck out of me. That, that so I, can, I, can, I can feel you stomping around and I can, anything that happens like in the room that shakes you in general, feel the I can feel it. Yeah, yeah, and I felt that and it scared the fuck out of me. Dude, this place is wild. Yeah. What? Spirit box is off. It's... Oh, hell no. Turn that right off. Yeah. Close the app and everything. Yeah. Um, thank you for communicating with us. Um, I don't even want to think about how to close this. I've been struggling for the past minute. Right, Let's just please. You want to switch? I can do it. Grab the camera. Um, I was going to say, it definitely seems like it wants to go down to the basement. Yeah, for you too. I remember that. I did say basement. Did you hear that? Yeah. Too? Like it sounds like someone shifted in here? Yeah. Like moved around? Almost like something like went. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. It's kind of weird. Based on how the other floor is up above us okay that there's no wall there it goes in more yeah so is that like a room here maybe like a hidden room behind that wall it might be <sighs> i don't know something about this room that just gives me the heaves let's worry about that downstairs bro let's yeah, not, right. let's let's just go um 
I guess the question now is do we go to the basement? We doing this? I'd say we have to. We went earlier, and we went with a bigger group. It'll be over on their channel. But then that was crazy because we had cat balls going nuts. We were hearing the craziest sounds and the spirit talker was saying the same name over and over again. It was Ronald, I don't know if you remember. But now we're going down there completely alone and I just wanna double check the time because I think we're getting close to the good old witch in our 145. Getting close. Hour and some change. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's, uh, one sec, let me just make sure this is coming up. Please. Dude, could you imagine someone's down there like on their phone in the elevator just waiting till I like, get the text message like where maybe Uber eats trying to figure out where the room is. And then they're just waiting there and they're like, oh, the elevator's going up. And then they open their eyes and it's just abandoned. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be horrifying. <laughs> Um, uh, main is good, main is good. Or, this lobby is main. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Let's just it's gonna bring get the hell down. Spot. Oh, shit, bro. We couldn't see anything up there, but we can definitely hear things around us. But one thing's for sure, 110%, we can both feel a presence up there, a dark presence. And it was coming towards us. We needed to get the hell up out of there. Okay, so here we go. It's awfully dark in here. All right, so this is the mezzanine. Here, let me turn that on. Or does it look better with that? I honestly, it looks great. Okay, cool. All right, guys, so this is the mezzanine, and uh, obviously very beautiful. This is a very historic hotel, as you can see, all the old decorative pieces, the chandeliers themselves. The woodwork, oh my God. It's beautiful, but at the same time, that Charlie, the man that we were told about who hung himself, hung himself over the railings here. So they believe that it was right over on this side because that's where the light dims on numerous occasions, starts flickering, and he says that paranormal investigators get their equipment to go crazy there. So Charlie, if you are here with us, can you give us some sort of sign to let us know that you're here? Yeah, they said that this light is the one that flickered. And they said that, what, like, normally? Life was short. Oh. My life was short. Normally with these lights, you'd have to shut them all off to shut one off, right? Isn't that what they said? Yeah, like for the whole floor, right? Yeah. So for one or two to go off, it's kind of... As I mentioned earlier, we were doing a quick tour of the hotel before Ben and I started our solo investigation, and this area right here was a spot that we stopped at because we were told it was a paranormal hotspot. And it was. Because what we captured right here was insane so we had the entire news crew with us around the table and we had our friend bj right next to us i just want to mention really quick because this is very important to the story he had his backpack on with all of his equipment inside of it so on the table we had ben's phone running necrophonic on the floor we had a rem pod and we're getting some pretty crazy responses from the necrophonic basically something was laughing in our face basically just almost threatening us it was pretty scary and out of nowhere the EMF meters that were in BJ's bag started beeping. They were both off. So they both turned on and both started beeping. But at the same time, my phone that was in my pocket said, a demon is here in the spirit talker voice way. But I pulled my phone out right away and I showed everyone like this. My phone was locked. I then unlocked my phone and it was on my homepage. It wasn't even on the app. So... At this point, everyone's jaws dropped. The news crew, BJ's, minds, Ben's, and we're all like, holy shit, there is something here. Do I believe that there's a demon here? I don't believe so. I don't know. I haven't spent enough time in here to really be able to make that kind of opinion, right? But I can definitely say, without a doubt, there's something dark here. I can say that something maybe is manipulating and acting as if it is a demon, trying to scare us, trying to let us get our guard down, trying to make us leave. And it's pretty damn scary. But, but just keep that in mind as the video goes on, because as I mentioned, we're getting this very evil and dark entity approach from the other side. When we get into the basement, it shows itself to us in full force. They also say that sometimes he hangs out over in the bar. 
Now at this point, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, the bar is closed, but we can overlook it from up here. Charlie. What the? Hey, this is something like placed itself on that table right there. Uh, okay, it literally sounds like some like, like almost like identical yeah. to that. Charlie, was that you? Definitely a weird vibe, but I don't think they want to speak to us here, brother. I think they want to speak to us in the basement. I mean, that's what they were calling us. Your basement before. boys. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly just kind of delaying it. Mm -hmm. Come on. Maybe Ben will change his mind. <laughs> <laughs> but it's better we do this now. It, it's a really freaky basement. It gives me like back rooms vibes. Oh. You know? Yeah, for yeah. sure. My life was short. That's the last thing I said. Any spirits are welcome to come follow us down into the- Shadows move. And Charlie is the shadow figure that they see. That's true. Shadows move. Come follow yeah. us down to the basement. Come on. Let's do it. I kind of want to bring a, a yo play with me, but I'll, make, I'll wait. Here's the basement, locked and all. So definitely, definitely the back rooms. B for back rooms. As you guys can see, it's locked, but. Back rooms vibes. Now we were told that there's going to be nobody down here until morning, when the initial maids come in to you know clean the rooms mm -hmm. and whatnot. So we are the only ones down here. We are the only ones apart from the one person who's working re reception right now that knows the password to come down here, which is nuts. So that's crazy. If we're hearing things. Sirens yeah. go off, right? Because yeah. we're like, okay, we're now something's here with us. It is pretty cool to see this kind of stuff, though. Yeah, it is. Go to someone else's job for the day. It's pretty fun. Florence. Hello, Florence. All right, Florence. Pleasure to speak to you. Going based, there it is. I was gonna say I was going based on memory, where we came earlier. What's going on? Smell. <laughs> smell? Yeah, you can yeah, smell. Yeah, the, the basement smell for sure. <laughs> now you're probably thinking, oh, this is the basement. Like it's not that creepy. We're not there yet. No, we haven't made it yet, unfortunately. Yeah, we're not there yet. You know when she says, uh, "Go deeper," essentially, she's like, "Go deeper, go deeper." Right, right, right here. Black hair. You have brown hair. I have brown hair. I have brown hair. Yeah. Who's the one with the black hair? I mean, sometimes people get it mistaken and think I have black hair, even though it's dark brown. Fair. Maybe. I want to give a big shout out to the hotel staff and everybody for giving us the opportunity to do this. We're going to be so the cool. first people who are like actually thoroughly investigating the entire hotel. I mean, basement, 13th, 12th, and uh, 14th floor and the most haunted rooms of the place. Yeah, we so, got everything, literally. And it's so cool because it's close to home. Yes. Okay, I just got the coldest breeze. Literally just felt like it went, there's nothing that would do that. It's definitely getting, it's definitely gotten a lot colder really quick. Right, you feel yeah, that too? Yeah. Florence, is that you?
Okay, this room never gets any... Wait, when we were here earlier, this wasn't here. This was against the wall. Believe us. But this was against the wall. We didn't have... Remember, we just walked past this. Uh... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a leak here. This is bad. I mean, it's a basement. It doesn't have it's to it's a basement, nice, right, right. Oh, shit. Who's here with us right now? Is that a room up there? Steven. Hello, Steven. Hello. Uh, fancy seeing you here. Hey, you seen this, though? Look at this. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's a room. I think so? There's windows up there, Jess. You're right. They're boarded up. Steven, are you up there? Are you here with us? Oh my god, it just got so cold. Do you yeah, feel that? Yeah, that's bad. Oh! I that feel is like chilly. Where did we get the most activity when we were here earlier? Over there. We had cat balls god, back there. God, I wish that, we were recording. The cat balls weren't just going off. They were rolling. So th there They were like some, rolling kind of like... Yeah, like up, yeah. down. It was crazy. Over and over again. And then we asked who was there. It said Ronald. Right after that, again, we asked, who's there? I don't like that. In the name of death. <sighs> Steven, in the name of death. So the story for this area, this general room, is that there is a boy, name is Thomas? Yeah. And he's 12 years old. And it seems that he's taken refuge in this room, right? Likes to play with toys. Um, I'm sorry, I, don't, I didn't bring a toy with me. However, I do have this device right here. It might be ahead of your time, but tons of bells and whistles. Uh, what you could do, use your energy, manifest your energy to use this device and communicate with us. Share your story with us. Why are you still here? You know, would you like to play with us, speak to us and... And remember, I told you when I was up there on the top floor, the 14th floor, yeah. uh, it was telling me that children are playing. That didn't come from back there, did it? No. Uh, where does this go? Yes, we are here. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. Yes, we're here. All right. Uh, you turn off lights. Remember earlier when we were investigating, now this will all be over on the other investigators' channels. We will be linking it down in the description. But they were saying that they're hiding in the dark. The spirits are hiding in the dark. So we'll just run this light for now. If you guys see anything that we may have missed, please let us know. I'm going to take some night shot photos. Oh, that's a good idea. And I'll put these all on screen for you guys. That's where the cat ball stuff was going crazy. Take one over here. All right, Ben. Take Lights on, they're off. You're good. Okay, and I'll take a selfie right now. If anything pops up in these photos, <laughs> I think that just proves Stephen, Thomas, or one of the spirits. Here's the thing. This place, this is a very historic building. Like, over a hundred years. Mm -hmm. There's probably so many spirits here. Oh, yeah. Here, Ben, let's take one down here as well. Like this corridor, and then I'll take one in the hall. You hear that? Yes, coming from there. Okay, hold on. Taking this photo quick, and then I'm going to go over there. Ugh. Oh. What the fuck, Ben? What the fuck was that? The, that was glass. What the fuck was that? What was that? Hold on. Oh, I don't want to step in anything, but hold on. I'm going to turn the lights on. What was that? Oh my god. Yeah, he's here. There's glass right there. They fall when we Bro, by. okay, if a bottle fell over, maybe, but that was like almost like it just exploded. 
How, only one bottle? Hold on. Steven, was that you? Oh my God. I don't that think was like I really close to me. Bro, that was like right next to you. Yeah, that scared the fuck out of me. Um. Well, let's clean that. He'll get you. Who's he? Brother, upstairs, the responses as well. Yeah, I know. It's very, like, adamant, very aggressive, very vicious. I don't know if it's just towards us, you know? Okay. Maybe, maybe, but it was telling us to come down here. Yeah. Either it's trying to scare us out, or it's basically... You hear me? That was a voice. Yeah. Can we just double check? I want to make sure that we're alone. Okay, well, I'll tell you it's not this. Mm. Where is okay, this is the back rooms. So what the f- Why is there a giant tube? Uh. Dude, okay. So earlier we were hearing sounds, like voices from here, and now we just heard something else. I'm this is weird. Um, let me run Necrophonic right now. Now I'm very curious about those photos, but I'm gonna wait till we get home to see those. Oh. When I'm editing, I'll put it in. Wait a sec. Oh no. I have no regrets. Is the last thing I said. I'll get you and I have no regrets. Nice. Combo. Let's see if you could quick fire some responses for us with Necrophonic. Um, please have a seat. We'd like to communicate with you. Upstairs, you move that chair. Come do it again for us. Leave. <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you, it wants us to leave. What? Why do you want us to leave? Here. Who's here? Her? Her. That was very clearly her. Didn't they upstairs say her before we went into the elevator the first time? Said yes. Her. Who is this female entity? Me. What is your name? Maria. Oh, wow. The, bro. Yeah. What is, okay, Maria. Why are, you, why are you upset? Why are you angry? Demonic. Is it demonic? It sounded like it did. Maria. Were you the one who broke that bottle? No. Who broke the bottle? Was it this... Was it Charlie? Was it Charlie, did you break the, the bottle? That was her again. Did I scream? Yeah. Ben, I feel something standing like right behind me. I'm not, like, this is the weirdest feeling. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, there's no one behind you. And physically, does that say Ben? Who? Dude, I feel so uncomfortable right now. Let me try moving. Yeah, just move. Who was that? Or what was that? It said run. It did. Didn't it say earlier? I, I remember it saying run earlier. Their Nessus method. Yeah. It said basement run. Yeah. So back here is where we had the uh, cat balls going off. Cat balls were going nuts back here. And it said hiding in the dark before that, so. Yep. Steven, Thomas, Charlie, Maria, anybody. So many spirits. Hey. Hmm. There's a, uh, that's a scale. No, it's a swing. Oh, it's a swing? Yeah, you sit on it, you swing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what did they say? Hey. Who are we communicating with right now? I was very close to saying something. I don't want to say it. 
No, I don't like this move. So it, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to pause this real quick. It's word of mouth, but um, it, it I, I have to say this because I think it's pretty crazy. We, whether you believe me or not, it's word of mouth. We didn't get this on camera. Uh, however, when we were with the other paranormal investigators earlier, now these, that was a door. 100% that was, that was a door, but then it sounds like there's like wind. Okay. Uh, one of the paranormal investigators, BJ, he had his backpack on and he had EMF uh, meters that, that make noises in his backpack. And my phone was locked, but Spirit Talker said a demon, and then his backpack started beeping like crazy, all of his devices. And his phone was locked. And his phone, my Your phone, phone was, was locked. Because I took my phone out. Yep. It said the time. He opened his backpack, and the EMF meters were off. Yep. It was one of the weirdest things, and it was right on the second floor where we were by that table. So. Right where the guy said we get a lot of activity. We should try to work there. And then we did. The hooks in the wall. Who broke that bottle? I want to ask one last time, who broke that bottle? Sorry, I heard. Me? Maria, was that you? As well, get get you we'll get you i said it again uh i said that earlier who is gonna get us get him dude okay so a lot of people who stay here have claimed that there's been this violent entity in the room that we're staying in tonight. Now, that entity could be traveling from all over the hotel. It could be. You know, it could be here with us right now. This, this violent, yes. Why do you want to hurt us? Ben, turn around. I just uh, saw the chain literally go in like this. Mezzanine. No, it. No, I, I'm trying to remember if I touched it when I walked by, but I don't think I did, Jez. I think I avoided it. With the I literally saw it go like this. That was a scream. Okay, I'm trying to keep my composure right now because I'm not trying to just like think this is this, this is that, but with what we're getting right now, it's kind of hard to not freak out. Mm. That's a leave. Okay, we'll leave. We hear you loud and clear, we will leave. But we just want to know one thing. Who broke that bottle? Him. Her, him, him, her. Yeah, exactly. We're not getting any actual names here. Yeah, no one wants to rat. That's fine. We're not going to get anything. Well, we didn't. You scared us in a bad way. All right, well, we'll see in a little bit. Um, that's still so crazy to me that this broke. I know. We were trying our best to hide it, but we were both scared out of our minds at this point. I mean, something was basically just thrown at us, a glass bottle that very well could have hit us. And the thing about this is we were told about a poltergeist in this hotel. We were told about key cards flying off the shelves. We were told about salt and pepper shakers getting knocked over in the kitchen and amongst many things. But this scared the living hell out of us. And we decided that, okay, let, let's get out of here. But whatever the hell is down there does not want us to be there. I can say that with 100% certainty because of what we're about to experience. All right, Ben, before we leave, I want to hear what are your theories of the basement so far. It clearly wanted us to come down here, but I wonder why. Like, what was the reasoning for it? You know, obviously it's very, you know, outspoken, very passive aggressive. Yeah. And um, in regards to showing itself, but like, what do you think is going on down here? That's kind of tricky, right? Uh, I think. I don't, I don't know why I get like the vibe, just based on what we experienced earlier with the other paranormal investigator and what we just experienced now, that there's a lot of ch children spirits that kind of yes. hang out down here. They're kind of just like playing pranks and being kids. Uh, I don't know why that spirit, whatever was following us upstairs, I don't know why it wanted us to come down here. Cause That's what I fear. It yeah. knows that there's children down here and maybe- Bad things happened. Bad things happened. And maybe that mm. other end spirit or entity was acting as a child. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, it's very possible. Thank you for communicating with us. If you'd like to follow us to our rooms, 410, <laughs> we shall be there. We will meet you there. Yeah, brother, this is uh, crazy. It's nuts. Is that how they have to make septic pipes? Just so that, like, people's dude wipes can fit on the toilet? Bro, <laughs> wet wipes are not flushable. I hate when people say that. What? That came from. That came from down there. Who's over there? I still struggle to find the words to describe what the hell we experienced down in the basement and why why things were happening the way they were. Killed me. Uh, she? Bro, what? <laughs> what the, okay, yeah, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Um, this way, um, this way. Hung, hung. Oh. She killed me hung. Brother, Charlie hung himself. From the mezzanine. What if it wasn't a suicide? Oh. She killed me hung. Nine. Uh. Nine. I see her. All right. I just want to be out of here. Ho. Oh. That's not like something was coming towards us. Couldn't see it, but you could hear it, you could definitely feel it. Bro, that's actually insane. She killed me? Hunk. Now so, we put a lot she of pushed her? Pushed him? Huh? She like pushed him maybe? I'm i I'm starting to worry because so what we were told was we have the full sheet in our room. But basically, just like all the history broken down from the tour guides and, and from the group we were with earlier told us that he was hung off the mezzanine railings. So now it's like, this puts different things in the perspective. Well, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, for now, though, I want to head back to the rooms, gather myself, and figure out what we're doing from here on forward. We investigated some more and we experienced some things here and there. And I even used the Ouija board uh, that's going to be over on my second channel. However, after all this, we decided it was time to go to bed. And I was sleeping in room 410 and Ben was sleeping in room 408. So basically two rooms apart. And we both experienced some horrifying things when we were trying to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and let that play, let you guys see uh, exactly what happened. One last thing I want to mention is that I don't believe that we were able to fully investigate this hotel in one night. It was just simply impossible. So much floor to cover from the closed off floors to the basement, to the rooms itself, to the main lobby and such and such. I believe that this location deserves at least two to three nights. If you guys want us to go back, it's in your hands. Smash this like button, get this video to 21,000 likes, and we will go back, you have our word. Because what you're about to watch after me talking in this little bit right here, you're gonna see that there is something that wants to speak to us. Whether it's trying to do it in the most demented and horrifying way, it, it wants to get through to us. It's trying to tell us something. But with everything that went on this night, we were just too scared to fully stay and figure out what. So it's in your hands, 21,000 likes. Let's make it happen. But with that being said, take a look at the remainder of this night when we tried to sleep and experienced the worst of it. It's been a wild night so far, guys. Um, I'm here in bed now, I'm gonna try and get some rest. Ben is sleeping in room 408 or 409, I don't know. They're connecting rooms, so he has a couple beds to choose from. But I'm over here in uh, room 410, probably the most evil room. 
the room where people experience all the craziest stuff. And I'll be honest with you, I've been here alone for about 10 minutes and I'm kind of already freaking out. <laughs> um, but it's all good. I have the main camera set up over there. It's going to be connected to the generator recording all night. Ben has the night vision camera. And um, yeah, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see if anything happens to either of us. But hey, that's what we were invited here to do. And uh, so we're going to get going. I didn't really have much luck with the Ouija board. Probably won't even put that here on the main channel. Probably on the second channel. And uh, yeah. Hello? Okay, I thought I heard something. Okay, regardless. Uh, definitely getting a vibe of some dark entity here. Angry entity. Not really sure, but something is going on. But apart from that, you can try to get some rest. I'll share with you some more thoughts probably in the morning. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I don't even know what planet I'm on right now. I'm so tired. So I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Hello? That's weird. I feel like this is Chaz's room. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one sec, guys. Sorry for the mic. Ugh. Jazz, is this you? Oh shit, it is. Okay. Holy shit, that was Jazz. But it didn't sound like he was. Just give you guys an update. Jazz just called me from the room again, but he was asleep. It sounded like he was like snoring or something. So I'm gonna go check on him. I think I'm just actually gonna sleep over there because I'm not really liking the vibe. And if he's just gonna call me, then I might as well go over, right? Just check and see how he's doing. I can't really get a lot of sleep anyway, guys. I'm not gonna lie, this room is really f***ing creepy. Uh, I don't like it at all. What the f*** is that? That just came... from the, uh... connecting room. Yeah, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna sleep somewhere else, actually. So, uh... Go ahead. Get my shoes on. And uh, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm about to leave, not weird at all. 
Hello? Hello? I'm gonna go check on Jess. really late. I'm not trying to knock on... Yo, Jazz, it's me. I'm not trying to knock. It's 3.30. Oh, no, it's 4.30. Oh, my God. Hey, brother. What? I'm gonna sleep here. Hmm? I'm sleeping here. I'm I'm not gonna sleep in there anymore. It's scary. Plus you your room keeps on calling me. Like your room keeps on calling me, not you, because you're asleep. This all was coming through. I can hear you like snoring and like static. So hmm? I heard you snoring and I heard static. Two things I got. You you called me twice. Or the room called me twice. I was tired and uh, it was keeping me up. Make yourself go home. Thank you. I'm gonna go pee. All right, brother. Oh, you probably can't even hear me. Hold on. Come here for a second. I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Guys, you hear that? Hmm. You hear that? Hmm. Someone's in the bathroom. Is that our room? Are no, you sure? I think so. Ben, take the camera. It's J just it's, in case. It's, it's our room. It's our room. Okay. What do you think that is? Uh, I don't even know what time it is right now. I can't. Yo, something's moving in there. What? Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, I stood up way too fast. I'm sorry, I almost. Uh, oh my god! But look at the sink. How long was that on? I don't know. I have no idea, Chef. I don't like this. I don't like this, man. Just shut, shut it.
I'm trying to piece things together right Thank now. You. Brother, I'm... Like I'm trying to just out of it. Sleep. This is weird. This is really weird, but I'm struggling right now. Let's try to go back to sleep. Let me just make sure all that water went down. Okay. Dude, that's so weird that that turned on. Like, that's actually freaky. I'm glad we caught it before it flooded the sink. Dude, could you imagine that? Oh, I A don't whole want to. bathroom floods? Dude, we were probably... Like, ten minutes away from that? I mean, maybe, yeah. And then we would have been... We would have been... Ben? Uh, what the fuck? You saw that? The door opened? Yeah. Please tell me you saw that. Like the door I'm, like I'm chipped open. looking at it right now. There's something in that bathroom right now. All right, good night. You know what? Maybe that is the best brooch. Good night. Ben! Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Uh... Did you fucking ring? Did I hear it? Ben! Ben, yeah. look at the bathroom! Look at the bathroom! Oh, fuck. The bathroom's wide open. We definitely closed that. We closed it, right? We did. I know we did. What was that ringing? It was like, almost sounded like something moving, but over here. Oh, Ben, the Ouija board. Oh my God, the Ouija board. Yeah, you didn't. No, 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 I said goodbye. I said, but it doesn't matter. You, it came from down there. Okay, you guys probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I used the Ouija board earlier, but I was using it for the second channel. I wanted to upload a vlog of, to tie both videos together. But I said goodbye. It was really weird because it was like the most quiet Ouija board session. But none of the... Uh, you heard that, right? Yeah. Yo, oh my god, bro. You please, don't think please it was come a... with me, Ben. Please come with me. <sighs> ben, can you please check behind that curtain for me? What do you mean? Please just check behind it. I oh. thought I heard something. It's just thick. Hello? Who's over there? I'm telling you, what if it's something from like the closet? I'm trying not to freak out right now. I'm trying not to freak out, but what if it's from the closet? Hold on, hold on, let me turn night vision off. Is there anybody in there? What the hell? What was that? Oh, yeah. Um. Dude. Sorry. Okay, hold on. I don't know what I heard. It's cold in here all of a sudden? Yeah, it's freezing. Wasn't that hot earlier? It was burning hot. Wait. 
It sounded like ringing, I said. Hold on. It sounded like ringing, I said. Bro, that's uh, what it sounded think... like. Yeah. Okay. Then the Ouija board. Ben. What? I, I ended it by saying goodbye. Uh huh. It's not on goodbye. What's it on? Four. Five, four. Can you please say goodbye for me? Please just. I'm still trying to process it. When I used the Ouija board, when I finished the Ouija board session, I put it to goodbye. What was it trying to say when it went to four? Please just put it to goodbye, bro, please. All right. It didn't work when I did it. Can you please just say goodbye? Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. That should do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Go, go. Fuck this. Honestly, bro.